the following day, the next day. So now it's Sunday and I finally used up all the battery juice on this Samsung S20. It's telling me to charge it, so we're gonna do a, a dual test and test it charging on this wireless power brick, power bank, however you want. This one's by Hokanui, and this does 10 watt power charging. So you just press the little button here on the side, display comes up and it has the little wireless symbol. And it should, there we go. There's the charging symbol, logo, however you wanna call it. And it's at 0%. So we have 12 o'clock, 0%, 4, 5, the S20. So, we're gonna find out how fast the Samsung S20 charges wirelessly while off. Now if we gently press the power button, boom, already at 1%. Now it's tricky with wireless charging, you wanna have it directly lined up. If you don't, two things happen. One, it'll stop charging, or two, it can become overheated. I've read a couple of articles on this on the internet, so you know it's true, and uh, even more so, I've tested it, and yeah, if you don't have it just correctly centered, it'll get hot. Uh, not so much this one, I've had the experience with watches and some other smartphones. Even more critical is make sure that the charging device that you're using, in this case, I'm using the uh, Hokanui uh, charging brick, uh, it's compatible. It actually says in the documentation that it works with the Samsung phones. So there we have it. We'll uh, let this charge. I'll come back about every 10 or 15 minutes and give an update. I don't know if I'll do it in the video. That turns out to be a really long video. I'll just write it down. All right, we'll come back soon. And digital well-being. Wow. That took a long time. So it stopped charging. Right around 3.30. So it looks what happened is this died. So still, that is a long time. So it takes over two hours to charge it wirelessly at 10 watts, so not fast charging. Well, that was weird. Uh, I just checked it at 2104. It said 96% and 13 more minutes. So, oops, this watch. I set my timer, I still had five more minutes and I came back. 100% and this turned off, which is really cool. I like this Hokanui and it only went down to 94%. So now if it's on, fully charged. So that's pretty cool. So because it's fully charged, it didn't make that sound that it was charging. So the Samsung uh, S20 is a pretty smart device. Oh, that's kind of funny. So I have the back of the phone there, and then there it is on the phone. <laughs> All right, so there you go. So let's do some math here. Okay, I did some math, and as it turns out, it took three hours and 22 minutes to fully charge the Samsung S20. It's so weird, I'm filming on the OnePlus 6T. As soon as I take it off the phone, white light, yellow. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, if we scroll down, go to settings, and then go to device care, battery, one day, nine hours left, better usage, 
there we go. So I did some math and basically I got three hours and 28 minutes yesterday of usage off a of full charge. And then before I started charging, it was another about 45 minutes. So four hours and 15 minutes. Not bad, four hours and 15 minutes. Whereas with the One Plus, I got three hours and 27 minutes. Hmm. So, on the One Plus, which came out in October of 2018, whereas the Samsung S20 just came out in March. I guess some people were getting it. No, the official launch date was March 6th, so yeah. Huh, not a big difference. I mean, an extra hour of screen time, which is really good, but is that worth twice the cost? Uh, the phone that I'm on was $500, where this one is still retailing for a thousand. Hmm, an extra $450, $500 for an extra hour of screen time? You know what, save yourself some money and get a Hokanui portable charger. And no, this video is not sponsored by them. Uh, I bought this off Amazon with some gift card money from Christmas. So yeah, there you have it. The Samsung versus the OnePlus, the battery life showdown. Hmm, not what I expected at all. So here we'll write down the Samsung S20, four hours, and 15 minutes. Not a big difference. At least not as much as you thought. But I was talking to a friend who uses the uh, iPhone, the one last year, the iPhone 11, and he's getting around four hours. So yeah. Well, maybe I'll need to test the Samsung Ultra. I don't know. I think I'll go back to uh, smartwatches. They're a lot easier. Well, that's all for now. Hope you've enjoyed this Samsung versus the OnePlus, the battery life showdown. So how long does your phone last? Don't be shy. Pithy comments are always welcome. Put those right down how long your phone lasts off one charge and how long it takes to charge it. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's focus on those. This is PH Digital with another gadget review. This time I focus on battery life. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. That's all for now. Goodbye.